If you've ever played Minecraft Java Edition, you probably recognize this image. A grassy hill with trees and a beach with a waterfront. For some, you may not know for sure exactly where you saw it, though you still recognize it. Newer players of the game have probably only seen it like this. So what is this image? Where did it come from? When was it taken? This is going to be a deep look into what I call the most iconic image in Minecraft history. This image can be seen in two areas of the game. The first being the resource pack selection screen, where the image is shown as the icon for the default resource pack of Minecraft. The second area is the server selection screen, where it is shown when a host has not selected an icon for their server. This time, it's shown in black and white. The interesting thing about this image is that it just looks off. The hill seems strange, the beach looks weird, and the trees look greener than they should. Minecraft doesn't normally look this way, but if you have a trained eye, you will know why this image looks the way it does. It was taken in a much older version of Minecraft. From the day I bought the game in Beta 1.8 or October of 2011, I've seen this exact image appear in the game. That was over 8 years ago, and the same image was still there, that far back. So we need to go back even further, as far back as this version of the game. Minecraft Alpha version 1.2.2, released on November 10th, 2010. This is the version of the game that added official support for texture packs, and with that feature, it added that iconic image to the texture pack selection screen. This is as far back as we can go for the image appearing in the game and for it to be found in the game files. To confirm this, I extracted the game files from the version before this and could not find the image. That means that this image had to be taken either sometime during the development of that version of the game, or even sometime before then. But I'm sure that it wasn't taken any more than a month earlier due to the release of Alpha 1.2, which added biomes and changed the color scheme of Minecraft from a bright green to a more darker green that we see in that image. When I extracted the image from the Alpha 1.2.2 jar file, I was greeted with an icon that had a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. As far as I know, this is the largest and only size I could find in the Minecraft client files. And yes, I did check the newer versions of the game for larger resolutions. This is all I had to start out with to find out once and for all where this image was taken, and to hopefully find the location in the form of a Minecraft seed. The first thing I did with the image was to run it through Google's reverse image search, but what I found was disappointing. Poorly upscaled and compressed JPEGs of the same 128 by 128 resolution image from YouTube channels, resource pack websites, and skin websites. This was my first dead end. So I tried doing some text searches instead, and ended up finding a grand total of one person asking the same question. That's it. Just one dude. And this was way back in 2012. Unfortunately, there were no answers to his question that led up to anything of the slightest significance. After many more search queries, I ended up finding nothing. So as a last ditch effort, I decided to make a post on the Minecraft subreddit asking for some help with this subject. I got a few replies within the first day or two, but they were all useless. Weeks went by, and I received nothing. I ended up shelving the project as I really had nowhere else to turn. But then, out of nowhere, almost after a month, finally I got another reply on my reddit post. This time, it was an actual lead. He posted a link to another Minecraft forum post where the user claimed that if you typed the seed Mojang, it would generate the world where the iconic hill picture was and that it worked between versions beta 1.3 and beta 1.7. But the only issue is that the user couldn't actually find the structure anywhere for himself. So I decided to load up the seed in beta 1.7 for myself, and I used a fly mod to make searching a bit quicker. But wait, pause here for a second. That doesn't make any sense. How could I be using a predetermined seed to look for this terrain feature when the image was taken in a version of Minecraft before you could even manually select the world seed? That feature was only added in beta 1.3. Well, here's the answer to that. After biomes were added to Minecraft Alpha 1.2, or on October 30th, 2010, the world generation system stayed relatively the same all the way up to beta 1.7.3. Even though manually entering the seed didn't exist in the game back then, the seed itself was still present in the level.dat file. So let's just say I generate a world in Alpha 1.2. What I can do is extract the seed from that level.dat file, go into a more recent version that still has the same world generation, type in that seed to generate a new world, and voila, it's the same terrain. So I decided to use beta 1.7.3 to conduct my search, as the terrain should look almost identical to what it was in the picture. 
but like the last attempts I made to solve this mystery, I ran into another snag. After almost an hour of flying around, searching the seed for that terrain feature, I came back with nothing. The guy that posted that thread suggesting it was from the Mojang seed probably got his thoughts mixed up, because when I researched the seed, I could not find a single thread saying that the seed had any correlation to that image. All I could find were old seeds that happened to have Mojang in the list. Yet again, another dead end. But I'm not calling it quits yet. I refuse to stop. I vow to do everything in my power to find the seed or the map that was used to take this picture, but I can't do it alone. Guys, I need your help. Whether if it's by reverse engineering the seed with the little information we have, or contacting the Mojang developers to see if they still have the world they used to take this picture. Maybe there's something else I missed. There has to be a way. I'm not sure. But for now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a text channel on my Discord server so that people can discuss ideas about this that I may have never considered. If you want to join that Discord, the link will be in the description. Also, to increase the likelihood of us solving this mystery, please like the video and share it with everyone you know. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter so you don't miss any updates to new leads I find during this project. Now, I normally don't ask for these things up front, but in this case, we need all the help we can get to solve this mystery once and for all.